two stores, just under $200 to finish out the month of September. Hey guys, Kiri here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of a mom life. And in today's video, I am back to share with you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan, which consisted of two stores. We did Walmart's grocery pickup and then my husband and I ran into HEB. I was really hoping just to do Walmart's grocery pickup, but once I got my notification of my substitutions and my out of stock items, my husband and I just made the executive decision that once we picked up our Walmart groceries, we would head right over to HEB and pick up the items that we were missing and of course we picked up a couple of extra fun things so we have that to share with you guys make sure you check the description box below we came in really low on our budget for this month which is awesome that really helped that super large Costco haul that I did right at the end of August really did help carry us through September so that worked out perfect now a bunch of you guys always ask us what our monthly budget is and I think that if I wasn't sharing with you guys special videos and doing special things specifically to share, I probably would be right around $1,200. And that wouldn't be just for food, that would also be for our pet products, for our cleaning supplies, and anything additional. Like, I don't factor out specific things that I purchase. For example, in today's grocery haul, I picked up a couple of things for Halloween that were non-food related. I don't necessarily factor that out. If I spend it when I go to the store, that's my weekly spending what I spent for the week that's what I factor in down below so it's not necessarily just food that you ever see in the description box but sometimes we can go as high as 13 or fourteen hundred dollars again if I'm buying specific things that I need to purchase to share with you guys otherwise we came in well under a thousand which was really great that included everything including like I said those few extra things so we did really really good and we're nice and set still moving forward into October which is perfect so let me take you down to the counter I'll show you what my husband and I got from Walmart's grocery pickup which what we picked up when we went inside of HEB and then we'll get into this week's meal plan okay you guys so here is a quick overview of what I got from Walmart's grocery pickup and what my husband and I went inside of HEB for so we got a pretty full countertop as well as the stuff that's on the floor so I think we did pretty good for just about $200 so don't forget to check the description box for the exact breakdown for the month but it had been a while since we went ahead and picked up a bunch of produce so I grabbed a bunch this week I got a thing of the organic green onions I did get some of this organic garlic but this was actually a substitution I asked for the elephant garlic and they didn't have it so they substituted me this which is fine but I do prefer elephant garlic if I have a choice on the fresh kind I got a, a small container of blackberries, a small container of blueberries, and a small container of strawberries just to get me through until I do Costco which will be next week I did get a bunch of gourds. These were $2.98 and I use them for decor, whether I put them on a bowl in the middle of the coffee table or on the kitchen table. I have two baskets that are outside my front door on my porch that just have some fake leaves in them. But I think that I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of these pumpkins and the gourds. These gourds are absolutely gorgeous and they are huge. I got one and two of these big ones. Look how big this one is. It curls all the way over here, and then there's three smaller ones. So for five pieces for $3.98, I think that was great. And then I also got five of the small pumpkins for the $2.98. So for three bucks a piece, I thought that was a good deal. Cheaper than actually going to the pumpkin patch. Uh, just got a bunch of bananas. Got a package of organic celery hearts. Got three avocados. These were on sale for 50 cents a piece, and they're just about there. So I'll be able to make some guacamole towards the end of the week. I got two cucumbers, and these are beautiful cucumbers. Whoever picked my produce did a really good job. So we got that. I got a bunch of cilantro. This was on sale for 30 cents. Like, how do you go wrong? And I actually keep this fresh by taking a glass and putting some water in it and then sticking this in there and sticking the glass in the back of the fridge. 
stitch and that just stays cold and fresh in there and I just pluck as I need it. So this will last a good long while, probably two weeks it'll last like that in the refrigerator. Uh, I got a bag of Honeycrisp apples. These were kind of expensive. They were $7, but I wanted to spring for these. I've been getting the plain old regular Gala apples and I have a recipe that calls for apples and if I had a choice to cook or use them for food or for drink, I would prefer to use the Honeycrisp. So I picked up these for that and then I got a bag of white onions and a bag of Yukon Gold potatoes. I've been buying like either red potatoes or plain brown russet potatoes, but whenever I get every plate, they send Yukon Gold and I'm starting to get attached to those potatoes that every plate sends, especially now since they just taught me a trick to take a whole clove of garlic and throw it into the pot when you're boiling your potatoes and the water mixes with the garlic and the salt iodizes the garlic and it gives that potato a really good flavor flavor. Plus you're mashing that garlic when you go ahead and mash your potato. So I've roasted garlic and put it in my potato mixture before, but I had never done that. And the last three recipes I got that had mashed potatoes, that was their suggestion. So I'm all about it. I'm here for that garlic mashed potato. So got the Yukon gold, got a regular thing of our Tropicana orange juice, got one pound of fresh broccoli florets. I got two creamers. Paul asked me for the white chocolate raspberry that has quickly grown to be his favorite and I got the chocolate caramel for myself. I am down to all of the chocolate pods. Like we were just kind of low on chocolate and so I was having all the pumpkin spice and cinnamon, cinnamony, wow that's a tough word to say, cinnamony flavors that kind of come with this season and now I'm left with chocolate ones. So I picked up the chocolate caramel for me. We just got one a gallon of milk and it got a good old dent in there and then of course I got hubby one of his friends vanilla creamers since Paul and I don't use this this lasts my husband two weeks which is perfect I've been going to Walmart like every two weeks so it works out perfect that's such a great price it's like $3.96 or something and these are three dollars so for an extra dollar you're getting double and it's great value and it's pretty darn good so I usually get that for him and then I got the kids just one of the Chobani gimmies we have that tub of yogurt that I use for smoothies that I just opened to make some smoothies and I want them to finish that plus we got some from Trader Joe's we just took out of the freezer so just one box this go around and then I got some crumble blue cheese so I can make some blue cheese dressing and they had my peanutty s'mores, you guys. When I told you that I couldn't get this, everyone was like, whoa, what do you mean you could not get that? You need it in your life, it's so good. Last time I got the apple harvest, that was really good, and the peach cobbler was really good. Those were the two that I had. I think the apple was better than the peach, but that's just because, like I said, I'm in that mindset. So I'm looking forward to trying this because everybody said it was amazing. So I got that, and then I picked up some provolone and sliced cheddar. I actually didn't need it, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get any other cheese. I like the boar's head white American cheese that I get from HEB. And at this point, when I was filling my Walmart cart, I was hoping I was going to get everything from Walmart's grocery pickup and I wasn't going to have to go to HEB. So I threw some of the sliced sharp cheddar in my cart and some of the provolone. And then obviously you guys will see at the end that I did have to go to HEB. But I got this for sandwiches and stuff, not knowing if I was going to get the other one. All right, I'm hoping I can turn this on one-handed. Yeah, I can it's really easy so I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing it Vanessa just said the same thing but if you guys are new here Vanessa lemonade mom here on YouTube her and I are getting together for Halloween and we're doing something special for our kids since there will be no trick-or-treating and we're gonna decorate the house all cute and one of the things she said she did not have is a strobe light. And this was $5. You guys, I didn't have to shop for this. It was on the grocery pickup app. And it has this slow one that goes nice and easy. And then if you turn the dial, it speeds up. Sorry if someone has like epilepsy or something. I don't mean to hurt anybody. But for 5 bucks, I thought that was great. And this actually looks like a tombstone. They have it upside down because they're trying to show you the strobe. But if you look inside, this actually looks like a tombstone when it's just sitting down so I thought that was super cute and I'm just gonna put that away for then 
Hello, you guys. <laughs> like I said, I'm all about the pumpkin and the cinnamon and the apple feels. And this is pumpkin spice pancake and waffle mix. And it was $1.67. I thought that was amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and make one batch of pumpkin waffles. I know my kids are going to love that. Vanessa actually has a great pumpkin waffle recipe that's in our cookbook that we did together. It's always linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But this was just easier. Like sometimes I don't even have time. Her recipe consists of like flour and ingredients and mixing stuff together. And sometimes I'm all about just add water and mix. So I got that. And then speaking of add water and mix, I've been looking for this because I got the syrup. The syrup was nothing that it was cracked up to be, but I wanted to get this before it left because this is like a limited time thing. And it's Captain Crunch Berry Tastic Pancake Mix. And when I showed you guys the syrup, so many of you said that you bought that pancake mix and it was really really good once i'm done with these i'm going back to my whataburger because that was the best pancake mix i've ever had in my entire life i do like the dark chocolate one by kodiak cakes but for like plain old regular add water and mix kind of pancake mix that whataburger blows it away uh, of course, every single month. At the beginning of the month, I go ahead and get one of our pure water filters. I absolutely hate the water here if you're new. And I use all sorts of water pitchers in my fridge so I don't have to drink the nasty water. And if you've been following me lately, we've had water leaks and all sorts of nightmares. Now our toilets are broken from whatever the plumber did to fix the leak. So it's been a hot, hot mess when it comes to water. So you have to see what's coming out. After the plumber fixed my water, when you turn the water on now, it looks like mud is coming out because so much water got, so much dirt rather, got into the pipes when it was blown up and exploding. So he said he tried to filter it the best he could, but run water for a while. Don't drink it or cook with it and only shower with it. So who wants to shower with dirty water? I don't know. It's a hot mess, you guys. So anyways, long-winded reason why I bought a pure water filter. But, you know, if you're here, you know I'm long-winded. Um, Halloween Blacklight, $1.52, you guys. I thought that was super cute. Vanessa actually bought nail polish for the girls that she thought was glow-in-the-dark from the Dollar Tree and then realized it was for blacklight only. And so when I saw this for $1.50, I'm like, we're going to figure out a place to throw a bowl and the kids' nails will glow and they'll think that's super cute. Uh, I got some cinnamon sticks. I need that for a recipe. I got this little Halloween mix. It was 97 cents, I want to say, you guys, and it just has the little orange and black on one side, just a little round like Perel's, and then the regular sprinkles in the orange, white, and black. So I picked up those to do some Halloween things, obviously, with the kids. Um, I need some raspberry jello for a food hack to share with you guys. Um, and then and this is for Halloween also. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to pick up any more candy because I got that jumbo stinking bag from Sam's Club. But if you know my kids, you know they're all about gummies. And this is Haribo. If you're going to eat a gummy or some kind of gummy bear, it should be Haribo. Like this is what I grew up on my entire life. And this is a Halloween one. It says sweet or scary mix. And it has ghostly gummies, regular golden bears, like regular um gummy bears and then sour vampire bites so i thought that was awesome and there's 45 pieces in here we still don't know how many people that we're going to have for halloween who's coming i've invited marissa as well so i'm not really sure what we're going to do so i figured it didn't hurt to have a little bit of extra candy and it wouldn't ha hurt to have some extra decor and this is halloween garland and it says happy halloween two pieces the happy and the halloween are separated and it's 98 cents and it just alternates in orange and black glitter. I got the same happy birthday one for like 98 cents for Maya's birthday in the hot pink and it's really good quality for less than a dollar. So I picked that up to throw onto our decorations. Got one of those banquet mega bowls for Jake the country fried chicken which we're actually having that for dinner coming up in next week. Not the meal plan you guys are seeing but the next one. So hopefully he doesn't get sick of this because <laughs> we're having it on the meal plan for dinner too. I think I'm going to hop down here so I stop tripping on the stuff and then we'll go back over there. So I got two gallons of spring water. When I went to Sam's Club a couple of weeks ago, they did not have our cases of water that we normally get for my coffee pot. 
you guys just heard me rant about water. I hate the water, so I don't even use the filtered water that goes in those filter containers for my coffee pot because I don't want to break my coffee pot. I can't live without coffee. So I bought these two gallons of spring water to hold us over until I make it to Costco next week. And hopefully, fingers crossed, Costco has the big things of water because like I said, I can't live without them. Um, Paul asked me to pick up his coffee. He goes through the ones that we get on Amazon so stinking fast. Like I can't keep up. These guys will drink two and three cups. I'll drink one cup and then a second one. If I go out, I'll get a Starbucks or a Dunkin' or something like that. But two hot cups of coffee, I can't do it. And just, it's not me. And so he goes through those ones so fast and I'm not ready to go ahead and order a big bundle on Amazon yet. So I got him these just to hold him over until we go ahead and order those K cups that we absolutely love. If you guys are new and you've not, and you like variety coffee, linked in my Amazon store is these coffees that are amazing. So I'm filming this on Sunday, the day before you guys are seeing it. And this morning we had Sunday nut football coffee. It's Friendly's Sunday nut football. Like they have an ice cream that's Sunday nut football. And this is the K cup for it. And we've been saving it for Sunday football. Like the ones that come in these mix boxes are amazing. So if you like stuff like that, check it out. Like I said, it's linked in my store below. And then I did get some drinks right here. I got a small thing of Sprite, but just a little cans because I need it for a recipe. And then I got some orange crush and some root beer just to keep in the beer cooler. I got some orange Gatorade. We still have red and green from two weeks ago. Um, so I just got orange because we were out of those ones. And then they have brisk iced tea and when they have it for two dollars and fifty cents i go ahead and pick that up for jake all right back up here to the top i got some endamame and i also got some oyster crackers both of those two are to share a food hack with you when i was placing my grocery order i asked hubby what he wanted he had one request and he asked for a rainbow sherbet so i picked that up for him one of my substitutions was apple cider i only asked for a small half gallon they were out so they substituted me a gallon that's when substitutions come in your favor i got a thing of cranberry juice cocktail one family size thing of tomato soup one thing of a cream of chicken condensed soup so i got those annie's crackers from heb a couple of weeks ago and they're white cheddar and i just opened them for the kids when daryl was home and he tasted them and said they were amazing and he almost ate the kids white cheddar bunnies so i just got him the great value white cheddar cheese cracker so he doesn't eat theirs and then i forgot to get our ritz like crackers from trader joe's wah, wah. i get them every time i go and i forgot this time i was so flabbergasted over the pumpkin stuff that i forgot my crackers so i got the great value kind um got some chicken broth and beef broth for recipes and then i picked up these tortilla chip bowls like they're like the scoops because it's football and we go through salsa and stuff like crazy and then I did get some of the variety pack chips I think we maybe have one or two bags left from two weeks ago but like I said I haven't been going too often and the kids love these for their lunches so that was it for Walmart and I believe my total was $170 so besides those few substitutions that I spoke with you about I ordered applewood bacon they said that they did not have that they said that they did not have pomegranate seeds and they did not have my Lysol laundry sanitizing stuff, which they keep saying that they have, and then they don't. So I had to go into HEB. Hubby came with me to pick up the grocery pickup, and he's like, all right, I'll come inside with you to get the stuff that you need from HEB, which of course, when you bring your husband in, what happens? You come out with extra things. Let me not blame it on him. It's not all him. Mama likes to grocery shop. Y'all know that. All right, I picked up these HEB bakery chips because they're freaking amazing and i just went on that beach trip with the girls and when we went to heb we bought these to have with our guacamole and our salsa and they blow any darn chip away and that's because they make them right there in the bakery and they're so so good so if i knew that walmart wasn't going to have all the stuff that i needed and i was going to have to go into heb i wouldn't have put these in my cart but these are like 97 cents so they're not going to go bad but these you guys they're like they're on a whole nother level so now we're going past the bakery and what the heck do i see but this you guys did you just see my stitch fix my butt does not need these like i should have said no mama no and i said can i have two yeah one for me one for paul the, mm, if this is any good and i know heb has them like do you see that cannoli 
it's got the chocolate dip with the chips in it i mean i just i died one to heaven and it's in a plastic box so how to get something for the hubs and he picked this out so this is a triple chocolate tiger cakery slice so i don't know it looks delicious that's what he picked up that's what happened when we stood by the bakery so there's that um and then when i was with the girls again in heb nicole was looking for like a non-sugar substitute to put in her coffee and she saw they had the nut pods and everything in all these flavors so i went over there to look i wanted the nut pods and pumpkin they did not have it um and i wanted the pumpkin spice whipped cream they did not have that either which I'm kind of glad that I did because besides maybe those pumpkin spice pancakes that the kids may want a little on I don't know if they would use the pumpkin spice whipped cream and then do I really need to buy whipped cream all for myself absolutely not but they had like a holiday end cap of all this crazy coffee and I could have bought a million creamers because I wanted every single one of them and I could have bought all these darn toppers and everything and this is all I came out with so I still consider that a darn miracle okay so this is buddy the elf which my brother actually loves this I buy him like all sorts of elf stuff for Christmas time um, this is their frosted sugar cookie which sounds so good it's probably good in anything and then they had peppermint whipped topping which that just sounds amazing for all of our peppermint coffee so i got that i got the pomegranate seeds that i needed that walmart did not have i got this little parfait since i only got one yogurt and it's salted caramel apple parfait so it's got the green apples with some yogurt and granola that sounds amazing i got my boar's head a white american cheese gotta go to heb for my boar's head I got the apple smoked wood smoked bacon that Walmart said they didn't have. And then I saw these. If you guys know me or follow me, you know my kids love corn dogs and we love everything bagels and we love pretzels. And it's an everything pretzel Nathan's hot dog. What? Yes, this is going to be a lunch of my kids absolutely love. So we picked that up. And I think that's it, you guys. I'm kind of exhausted, but I think that was pretty good for everything that we got. I mean, we overindulged a little bit, but not so bad and all for under $200. So now let's get into this week's meal plan. Okay, you guys. So here is the meal plan for Monday, September 28th through Sunday, October the 4th. And I am so thrilled that we are heading in to October. So for Monday, we're going to do a recipe I found on Pinterest called crispy cheddar chicken. I'll link it down below, but it's very similar to my cheesy bacon cheddar chicken recipe that I have in my cookbook, except I stuff mine with cream cheese and stuff. This is pretty much a simpler recipe. So I think I'm going to either try the simpler route or just end up making my recipe because they're very, very close. Um, and then we're just going to do that with French fries. And I think I have, oh yeah, I have broccoli written up there in the corner. And then for Tuesday, we're going to do cold salads. We're going to do egg salad and chicken salad. I'm going to do my chicken in my rotisserie oven. And then we'll do grilled cheese. And we're going to do some loaded potato soup and some tomato soup. Just a soup and sandwich kind of night. Praying for colder weather, but that's not really happening here in Texas. Um, I do have a roast beef that I would normally put in the oven, but it was a two-pack. And we did a oven roast beef last time. So although a roast beef doesn't technically belong in the crock pot it's going in and I'm going to treat it like a pot roast because I love that and we'll do that with mashed potatoes and gravy and corn new recipe on Thursday and it's Thai coconut milk grilled chicken and that sounds so amazing and I have the coconut milk I just got from the Dollar Tree so I figured I would give that a shot and we'll grill some pineapple and I'll do my coconut rice and we'll do some roasted carrots like that sounds like a really yummy meal on Friday, we're going to do those beef bolognese raviolis that I know Daryl's going to just die for with my homemade sauce on top and some salad and some garlic bread. On Saturday, we're going to do apple pie pork chops. So I actually did a freezer meal collab with my friend Leanne over at Grady's Mom a long time ago. Like when I lived in Clover, I just started my channel. She got me into YouTube and so we decided to collab on a freezer meal video together and one of the recipes that I made was were these apple pie pork chops in the crock pot and they were so 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 amazing but they needed something and I'm not really sure what it was but I knew I wanted to play with the recipe and I just got that apple cider jam from Trader Joe's that I think would just be so good 
in that recipe. So I think I'm going to repeat that recipe, but try adding that apple cider jam that I just got from Trader Joe's. That just sounds super, super yummy. Uh, anytime I make pork chops, I don't know why I make buttered noodles. It's just what my mom did. So it just seems fitting. So I'm going to do buttered noodles. But since we're going to have done carrots earlier in the week, I have some asparagus in the freezer that I wouldn't do fresh because it's frozen now, but I would bread it. My mom used to do like egg and bread crumbs on her asparagus, just like you would do like a breaded chicken cutlet and she would bake it in the oven and it would come out so yummy and her and I were the only ones that ate it. So I feel like I haven't done that in a while because it's just not something that I would do here because I think I'll probably be, um, maybe, no, I'm not sure who would try it, but I want to make it and let my littles and Jacob and stuff try it and see if they will like it. So anxious to do that on Saturday. And then of course, Sunday is a football Sunday appetizers. This is probably going to be the last of what I have. After yesterday, I kind of killed a good portion of what we had here. So I think one more Sunday and then I already planned like pizza, I believe. Yeah, I made put homemade pizza and chips and dip like for the next one because I'll kind of need to replenish our Sunday football food. But that is it for this time's grocery haul and meal plan, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. I do post a grocery haul and meal plan every Monday here on the channel and every week it is someplace new. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.